feels so good to be back here. The lights don't work. The battery actually died in my tiny cabin. I don't know why. The solar is supposed to keep it charged, but it's not charged. I do have my little twinkle lights. It's not quite the same. I haven't spent as much time out here this summer as I would have anticipated. Partially because it's just so hot. I have windows, but they don't have screens, so it gets very warm in here during the day. Today is not so sunny, so it actually feels really nice in here, and I'm excited about it. The location where I have my tiny house is perfect because I have a cute little area outside. The grass has actually grown up a ton. This grass is like as tall as... I am and there's a garden right out in front of the tiny cabin my cat's also here he's outside right now so hopefully he comes and hangs out but as of yet he hasn't come in the cabin I'm gonna make some coffee so I brought my cook stove it's nice to come here and have this space to kind of get away from everything else I don't feel like I have a life that I really need to get away from I really really enjoy my life day to day doing photography and videography. I also love living in Minnesota. I think it's just the coolest place ever. But coming into the tiny cabin feels like a getaway. Oh, hi Artie. You can come in. Welcome to the tiny cabin. What do you think? Hey, look, this is for you. You want to hop in? It's your tiny little room. Hi! What do you think? Oh, it's kind of small for you, isn't it? It's just that whenever I come in here, I kind of forget about all of the little things I have on my to-do lists all the time. And I think everybody needs places like that. Whether it be going to a coffee shop, sitting outside in your yard, or having a tiny cabin. I've been super busy this summer, but today is just kind of a nice day to relax. I find myself getting super, super busy during the summer, even though it's my favorite time of year to be outside and do a lot of things. I love winter. I love all the seasons, but summer is just the perfect time to get outside and the days fill up so quickly. I've had to really learn how to say no to a lot of things lately because I don't want to busy my schedule with things that don't fulfill me or help me reach the goals that I want to reach. It's kind of hard. It's hard to make time to do stuff like this, to just sit down and hang out in my tiny cabin. For some reason, it's easier for me to put aside time to work on projects than to enjoy the fruits of the projects. Growing this garden has taken a lot of energy this summer, and honestly, Cory has done most of it. Seems like it took forever, um, but now it's so exciting. We have peas and beets, beans, squash, cucumbers, peppers. I'm basically just knitting little 
coasters and napkins to have here in the tiny cabin. I've only ever knit squares and rectangles. I've never done like a hat or something like that. I want to get circular needles and learn how to do that. Oh, Artie, Artie, be nice. Artie has all his claws because he's an outdoor enthusiast and I think outdoor enthusiast cats need all their claws just in case. But he claws everything. Did you know that your bed is actually under this bed? That this is actually my bed? I've noticed that whenever I am in a really bad mood or stressed out about something, if I just go outside and spend 10 minutes outside, I always feel at least a little bit better. Hi. My cat has been basically an outdoor cat recently. He decided that that's what he wanted. When he wakes up in the morning, he sleeps inside at night, and when he wakes up in the morning, he doesn't ask for food, he doesn't want to be pet, he runs straight to the door and begs to go outside. And he's outside pretty much all day, and I can't blame him. I have this weird feeling about keeping a pet inside that really wants to be outside, because he's an adult cat, and to like tell him he just can't go outside when that's my favorite thing to do doesn't sit right with me.